Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to talk about enums. Enums, short for enumerations, is basically a complete list of something. The keyword is enum, and this is a, basically a specialized type of class. What you put afterwards, that's the class type. And what you put in the um, curly brackets are all the values inside of here. All right, so everything inside of here is final. You cannot add to the list, you cannot take it away, you cannot edit these, or anything like that. It's a little special in its in, in the class in and of itself, though. So notice it's outside of main. You don't put it inside of other classes. You don't put it inside of functions or anything like that. It's by itself. The, um, the several characteristics behind it. Notice that these are not in quotation marks, okay? So these are not integers, they're not um, um, numbers, they're not um, strings or anything like that. So if I try to make a string, let's just say, for example, um, quote, um, cat, it's going to give us an error because it's an unexpected token. If you try to put a number inside of here, it's going to give us an error unexpected token. If you try to put anything else that's not a number or a string, it's going to go away, right? But if you put, interestingly, of course, you put a 1a, it'll give you an error as well, unexpected token, because it thinks you're trying to put a number in here where these values are not numbers or integers. They're simply values within the class pet, okay? How you utilize it is you could say print pet dot and whatever you got inside of here, bird, cat, dog, and what happens if you put print pet.bird? The value is pet.bird. That's the value. There is no other values behind this itself. And if you try to look for the type of it, runtime type, the type is pet. So the class is the pet in and of itself. There is not much else to this other than one other thing. You can get index. Where is this in the list? So if I run this 0, 1, 2, in the index pet.bird has the second position or the number 2 position. That should say the third position but the number 2 position because it starts with 0, right? Um, that's about it. You cannot reverse engineer it. So you can't say print the third character in the class pet. You can't do that. You could say what where is bird but you can't say print the third the, the number two which will be bird in and of itself okay because remember this is not a list this is a special class this reminds me of I hope it reminds you a little bit of static class so I'm gonna say lowercase pet so static um, uh, string dog okay so you could say print pet dot dog, right? You can always do that. But what's the difference? This, the difference is the value is null, right? Because it's not defined. Let's just put sparky, and then you print that. So the value is a string. So the runtime type here is string. So this is a string, whereas this is the type of pet. Okay, so that's how things get a little bit different in, with classes, and plus they're not in an index in an index either. Okay, so what else can we learn about um, th these things? Um, that's mostly about it. Uh, I, I think I went through pet. You could also make a list of the values themselves. What does that actually do? It returns basically a list of things. So if you go um, list uh, pets equals pet.values, you can always turn it into a list. If you need to, but this in and of itself is not a list. And notice everything is pet dot something, right? So print pets and I could say the second position so that would be pet dot bird right it has to follow pet dot something all right now why do we even use this when you think about it itself what's the big deal it is handy specifically used when used with 
case and switch. Or switch in case. So when you think about it, if I have a list, okay, so here is my function, types of pets, type pet, right, that's the type, and here's just a variable. In the switch, it's going to be pet, okay, so it's going to be one of these things. The case has to be pet.dog, see, no, qu no um, quotation marks, pet.dog, pet.cat, it's not going to be dog, it's going to be pet.dog, remember, it always is, pet.cat, pet.bird, pet.lizard. So we can say... Um, um uh what this is actually i don't have anything behind here so i'm gonna say return um cat i'm gonna say here return bird here i'm gonna say return lizard and up here, I'm going to say return dog. Okay. So if I have, and so I'm going to return strings right here. So string um, pet equals types of pets. And um, my argument is going to be pet dot bird okay print pet so what I'm gonna say is I have this value and it's gonna take this variable it's gonna take the function pet dot bird okay so it's gonna go down here pet dot bird and it's gonna return bird and it's gonna print bird right inside here dead code okay because you return something you remember from before if the previous video because you return something you don't need to actually put a break you could put a break or a return okay so that's undefined named lizard return lizard pet dot lizard return oh wh whoops uh, you need quotation marks inside here so enums and switches actually work quite well together there is dead code expected to find Oh, wait a minute. Okay. There we go. Um, expect to find something. So they work very well together. In what ways? You don't need to add a final here. Okay. So what, what if, for example, before I run the program, okay, because while the program is, program is running, you cannot add things. Remember? Because at runtime, after you run it, you cannot add it because these are final. But before, I can change the code, of course, and I could say hamster. Right? I could just add that, then I run it again. But it's going to give you a problem. Missing um, case clause for hamster right inside of here. This is kind of one of the computer's way of helping you out. The editor's way it, it itself of saying, hey, wait a minute, your programming is, is, is having a problem. So that you can always add it later on. Hamster. Hamster. Okay, so, so this is one of those those um, tips and tricks to help you out. So it's sometimes when this list gets very large, it's hard to keep track of it. By using enums, in addition, whichever value you have here, and you have an equivalent um, value right here, it, it's very helpful in that case. Therefore, you don't need to put a default value right there, right? So, so that's the nice thing about using enums, um, um, switching cases themselves, okay? So I think that's about it with enums and switch and case. And if there's any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Now, I think this is going to be the last, maybe for a while, of the videos for learning to program in Dart. I, I think we've gone through quite a bit and if you've gone through most all of the videos themselves you'll probably be able to read most code even just looking at it and if there's might be a few situations where you don't understand the code but you should have the basis for that i think the next step is we're going to have to learn is web programming and i i hope that you're going to be interested in that and that'll be next 
in the future I might add some more values onto this but for now I think I'm gonna leave the command line dart for now thank you very much